Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Quick middle of the day update. Uh, currently expected uh, that we are going to see a little bit more of a recovery or sideways action here on the weekend just within this corrective wave four before we eventually should see one more low. I would prefer that at the moment, uh, not because I'd like this to see the price to drop, but I think it is the most likely scenario that we have not seen the low after the liquidation event that happened this week. Um, still consider this current decline a wave two of a larger degree, an A wave down, high B wave, C wave down. Um, the C wave, as I explained already yesterday, should be a five wave move. So technically I can only see three. So unless it bottoms in a WXY structure, which doesn't need one more low, it would be likely that price develops one more low. Yeah, but it would need ideally a healthy wave four before that. And it might be working on this wave four. On a weekend, you often see some kind of a wave four structure. So this looks a bit like a triangle, but it doesn't look like a healthy triangle. So it's probably still extending out. It doesn't seem finished. And the A wave might have happened here already with this small rally of the August lows here, of the, uh, not the August lows, but well, it was the August lows. Here, the 1580 level, 1570, we rallied quite strongly. Uh, in A wave, most likely this drop was in three waves. So it would emphasize the idea that we might recover a bit more. Um, and that could all be within this C wave of a fourth wave or even a triangle. So a triangle pattern would be an ABCDE structure, which could be this A wave, B wave, then a C wave. If it forms a lower high, then a higher low and a lower high. And then the wave four would finish at the end of the triangle. We could then add some trend lines, but it's a bit too early for that, okay? And it might break down. This is sort of how that um, wave four can develop. The, let's go back. The wave two looks like a sharp correction. So it makes sense to assume that the wave four is a sideways co correction. A Well, basically sideways would be typical, and that would be a so-called triangle or a flat structure. So sideways means basically it could be a triangle, um, as I just showed you, or in a flat structure, however, we would assume that the B wave would go down quite a bit lower and then the C wave higher. So it looks basically then, no, oh, one second. So it looks like a sideways correction, right? So this could still, it could still do this, A, B, C. Um, either way, you know, within a corrective structure, you have more than 10 different patterns that can unfold. So we need to keep an open mind within the correction. But what is important to understand is that the theoretical limit for this wave four is still at 1723, 1724. It would take a sustained break above that level, followed by a break above $1,800 for me to consider that a low has been established already yeah, and that we don't get this wave four and five. If we break above that level, 1724, <clears throat> I will start to assume that a low has been established. However, not in an ABC, just in a WXY structure, which is fine. Cryptos often do that, especially when we have a flush like the one that we had this week. Still massively oversold on various time frames. I mean, look at the four hour chart, oversold. Daily chart, still oversold, very significantly oversold. The two day chart also oversold. I guess on the four day, it still has some space, but yeah, it still has some space, but the four day doesn't necessarily need to come down very low. It could do, and then it has some more room, but um, I'm I'm looking for potential lows. But as you know, as long as we cannot find a reversal pattern, we still have to focus on lower here short term. Next support would be 1535. If it does another low below that level, 1457. Below that level, we have to move into a different scenario. Yeah, that's my update about um, Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.